All right, here it comes. The algebra class of the year for physics. This is rearranging and combining tools for physics. This is topic, what topic is this? This is topic five in unit two for acceleration. I'm Mr. Sand. And today we're gonna start with the same kind of idea that we did last time, which is we can use our tools that we previously know and we can use them and rearrange them to get really interesting results. Uh, today we're going to use a lot of algebra. I'm going to be going quickly through algebra. If there's anything along the way that is confusing to you, just pause it and rewind and it should, it should come to you again. Um, these are just using basic rules of algebra, nothing too fancy here, but we are going to just be plugging things into other things. So here we go. Let's start off. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to, I want to, uh oh, I want to plug in my tablet. <laughs> All right, how are we gonna do this? Here, that's not gonna work. Shoot, no, this is gonna work. Crap. Aha! Yes, here we go. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna set a little timer so I don't lose track of time. I don't want this to go over about 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Ready, go. Okay, so let's start off here. Um, if you Take a look at your textbook it details the steps that I go through as well. But first, if we have our velocity equals delta s over delta t equation, again, we can rearrange for velocity. This is average velocity again to get delta s equals v times delta t, and that's going to be average velocity, just making sure we know that. There's another way in which we um, could solve for average velocity. It was a long time ago, but it's average velocity equals the initial velocity plus the final velocity over two. Um, and we didn't really take advantage of that equation then, but we're gonna take advantage of it now. So we're gonna take this equation and we're gonna use this equation and plug it in to this equation. So we're gonna take this, it's just this simple, and we're gonna go and plug it in there. So I'll use purple to show this now. So it's going to be, instead of, since we know that the average velocity equals this, we can just plug it in for this equation. So it's going to be u plus vf over 2. Whoops. Back to aqua. Times delta t equals delta s. So all I've done is I've just taken this equation and I've plugged it into this other equation over here. Um, and you remember from the other topic, the last topic, which is just rearranging tools, um, if you rearrange the uh, acceleration equation, which I'll show in black here, or in tungsten, um, we took the average acceleration, which was delta V over delta T. We expanded this. So it'd be Vf minus u all over delta t, and we solved for Vf, and that of course equals a. So it's a times delta t plus u. I'm just making this, I'm doing this very quickly because we solved for this last time. That's a plus, not a t right there. This is a t. I'll try to draw t's with a curved end to them like this, so you can see their time, and this is plus u. Anyway, um, that's an equal sign as well. Um, what are we going to do with this? Well, now, now we can replace our VF in here with this VF right over here. So now I'm going to replace this. I'm going to take this VF 
and plug it in over here to that VF. And I'll write that out again because it's kind of sloppy right here. This is going to be A delta T. So it's A times delta T plus U. I'll put that in parentheses. Even though it doesn't need to be in parentheses, I'll just put it in parentheses. And then I'm going to use now grape. just to fill out the rest of this up here, plus U all over 2, and then this thing, parentheses, times delta T equals delta S. So all I've done is I plug this into here. All right, now we can simplify this. Let's simplify it like crazy. Let's combine those U's together. Um, so it's going to be 2U, Let's use this. I'll use grape for this. 2u over 2 plus, it'll be a times delta t over 2. So let's do that real quick. Delta t over 2. And then both of these things are going to be multiplied by delta t. Do that real quick. Delta t equals delta s. So now I'm going to distribute this delta t to both of these. Well, look at this. We could lose our twos because there's two in the top and two on the bottom. So this is just going to be u plus. Um, I'm just going to put the one half in front of a times delta t. It's just a rearrangement of this. I've done nothing to this, but just put one half in front of it. It's the same thing as divide by two. Okay, but now I'm going to distribute this delta t to both of these terms right here. So it's going to be u times delta t plus this times delta t equals delta s. Well, delta t times delta t right here is just delta t squared. So this whole formula, I'll write it out in one final red equation, which is a really useful equation, is u times delta t plus 1 half a delta t squared equals delta s. Oh, this is a great equation because it lets us find our displacement based on initial velocity, time, and acceleration. It's really incredibly useful for so many equations. And I want you to be able to use these equations, plug them in during the first few practice problems and warm-up problem, and practice plugging these things in so you can find this final equation and then use the information in the problem to plug that information in here for these various quantities to solve for delta s. Now there's a couple other ways in which you can plug this these equations into each other so you can find different val uh, values. Um, so let's say over here, instead of solving for vf over here, instead we solved for u, which is the initial velocity. So let's just take that alternate reality and say that this, let's solve this one for u. So this would be uh, the average acceleration times delta t uh, equals vf minus u. Now, we can add u to this side and then subtract this quantity over here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say u equals vf minus a delta t. This is, again, average velocity, average velocity. So now I can take this u and I can plug that u into here to that equation and I'm going to see what the result is but I'm going to put the result over here so it's going to be vf minus a delta t um, and now I'm going to use grape again just like that one over there plus vf because that vf didn't go anywhere it's still there and this whole thing over 2, and then we still have the 
delta t equals delta s. All right, so here we can combine our vfs together, and it's going to look very similar to this uh, equation over here. So our vfs are going to get together, so we got 2 vf. Oh, that's the alarm. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. we got about a minute and a half left. Okay, 2 vf over 2. Uh, over 2. It crosses off. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the colors now. Since we did the colors over there, you should be able to see it's very similar. I'm going to use all aqua. It's going to be minus a delta t over 2. This whole thing times delta t equals delta s. Uh, so, um, now we've got VF times delta T minus, because I delta T distributed over here, minus, we can say one half A delta T squared equals delta S, which is a very similar equation to this, except now we've got final velocity instead of the initial velocity in our equation. So this is another very useful equation. And the very last way we, in which we can manipulate this equation over here is to solve for, uh, uh, what is it, delta t. So we can solve for delta t. Let's use a, a final alternative universe for that. We'll use MOS to show that equation up over here. So if we solve for delta t, um, this would be... First, A times delta T equals, we can just leave this as delta V, or we can do VF minus U. Oh, the time's up. Okay, I'll make this very quick. All right, um, so now we want to divide this by A so we can get delta T by itself. Delta T equals VF minus U over A. I told you this was very quick algebra. So I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to plug it into this equation over here for... You guessed it, delta T. There we go. Put it in over there, and I see what happens now. Okay, it's going to be VF minus U over A. Oh, man. Uh, let's do this, and I gotta go back to our grape. This is gonna be U plus VF over 2. Oh, this is great. Um, and this equals delta s delta s all right so if you multiply all this out through foil you're going to get a final equation i'm not going to go through that right now but you trust me you'll get and you can try this for yourself vf squared minus u squared over ta 2a equals delta s all of these equations, these three equations that I've boxed down below, this one, this one, and this one, are incredibly useful because you're finding displacement using these um, variables right here. Notice this one doesn't have any time involved. This one doesn't have an uh, initial velocity involved. And this one does not have a final velocity involved. So there's different tools to solve for different problems based on what you need. So be wise in which equation you use to solve which problem, but you've got these now at your disposal. And you can use them to solve any problem you like with acceleration, velocity, and time. Good luck. Bye-bye.